I'm going to start the MTEX tool from the annotation panel on the Home tab of the ribbon. I select two corners to define my text box. The text editor appears. I select the standard text style and set the text height to 50 millimeters. I want to import a Word document into my text, so I'm going to right click and select Import Text. I browse to the folder where I'm storing my general notes. The document is in TXT format. If you check the Files of Type drop-down list, AutoCAD allows you to import a text file or an RTF file. I select the general notes.txt file. I select open. The text is imported. I close the text editor. I use my zoom to see my text. I double click on the text to edit it. I zoom out to see the M text boundary. I use the grips to adjust the size of the M text. I reselect the text and I want to change the text to use columns. I select the dynamic columns option from the ribbon. As I drag the M text window, I can adjust the M text. Notice that the text just runs into the next column. I can use the grips on the M text box to adjust the number of columns and the size of the text object. I can also use the static columns to adjust the number of columns. I change the number of columns to 3. I want to adjust the gutter size. Remember the gutter is the amount of space between columns. I right click inside the M text and select Columns, Column Settings. I adjust the size of the gutter to 100 millimeters. I click OK. I click outside the M text to exit the editor. I reselect the M text to activate the grips. I can use the grips to resize the M text object.